Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the drawing of azithromycin structure. But before that, we discuss some introductory part regarding this azithromycin. Azithromycin is a broad spectrum macrolid antibiotic. Here the word broad spectrum means which are active against both gram positive as well as gram negative microorganism that is bacteria and macrolid which indicate it having a bigger ring size. This azithromycin is a part of azelid subclass of macrolids and it contains a 15 membered ring size with a substituted nitrogen instead of a carbonyl group at the 9th position on the aglycone ring and which allows for the prevention of its metabolism. Because of these changes, it having a very good metabolically stable compound. Azithromycin having a long half-life and a high degree of tissue penetration and it is a primarily used for the treatment of respiratory, enteric and genitourinary infections and may and may be used instead of other macrolid for some sexually transmitted and enteric infections. In March 2020, a small study was funded by the French government to investigate the treatment of COVID-19 with a combination of this azithromycin and the antimalarial drug hydroxychloroquine. And in COVID, this azithromycin are used because it can be used for the treatment of respiratory infections. Now here we discuss how to draw this structure but there are the some structural similarity of this azithromycin with the drug erythromycin. This erythromycin is a one drug antibiotic under this microlid. So this structure of uh, uh, this erythromycin and here is the structure of azithromycin. So if you see this structure which are much more similarity in their structure but the differentiating point is here the ring size is 15 1 and instead of this carbonyl or double bond O it having a nitrogen instead of that and ring size is 15 1. So you have to remember this change in between the erythromycin and azithromycin structure. Now here we discuss the how to draw structure of azithromycin. For that first of all you have to draw this type of ring which having a 15 ring size. Then you have to just introduce a oxygen and double bond O in this ring so this structure becomes a lactone ring. And to this ring after that lactone ring you have to introduce a nitrogen atom here. Now from this carbon you have to introduce a methyl group to this alternative carbon. So you have to just place a methyl group to the alternative carbon to methyl group up to the nitrogen. Once you finish this then into in this side you have to Next to this nitrogen, you have to introduce a methyl group and to the alternative one, you have to introduce a methyl group. Once you finish this, then you have to introduce a hydroxyl group. So in this position, this position and to this position, you have to introduce a hydroxyl group. And in this side, you have to introduce a hydroxyl group to this carbon. And you have to introduce hydroxyl group same to here we have done so this this carbon which are having a similar similarity like presence of OH and CH3 group. Once you finish this then you have to attach a ethyl group to this carbon and you have to replace this hydrogen by introducing of a sugar ring. Simply you have to remember that you have to attach this ring Next to that, introduce a oxygen heteroatom, then next to carbon, methyl group, OH group and then methoxy and methyl group and here you have to introduce a oxygen heteroatom next to this methyl group and then to this side introduce hydroxyl group and dimethyl nitrogen. So this form compound is of 
azithromycin. So, isn't it easy? Hope all of you getting this, how to draw this structure of azithromycin. I, I am trying to give some hint and trick for drawing this azithromycin structure. So, hope all of you getting this. Thank you and happy learning.